I wanted to take a minute and show you some of the great sharing features available in the Creative Cloud. So here I am in Photoshop CS6, and we have this game menu screen, and this was provided to me by HD Interactive from one of their upcoming games, and it's a typical layered PSD file. So let's say I wanted to upload this and actually get some feedback from people about the design. So there's a couple of different ways that I can get it into uh, my Creative Cloud account. So here we can see here in the browser, I have some of my PSDs. So here, I have it on the desktop. Now, there's two different ways I can do it. First, I can actually bring it into my Creative Cloud Files folder. And this works similar to Dropbox, where as soon as I put it in that folder, it's going to go ahead and sync it to the cloud. Or I can actually just drag it into my Creative uh, Cloud Files page in the browser. And you can see when I do it, it's starting to upload. So we're going to let this upload for a minute, and then when it's done, we'll continue. All right, so we can see the upload is complete, and we'll wait for the thumbnail to load, and now I'll click on it. So now that I've uploaded this PSD, you can see I have all of this metadata that it's extracted, um, date, time, uh, of upload and modify, the size, and also extracted the color palette, which I can then download as a swatch file um, or go out and tweak it on Adobe Cooler. We can also look at any comments that have been left, um, but more, most importantly, we have this layers panel, which allows you to show and hide various layers. So let's say that I want to uh, turn off the visibility of the hat. So you can see now I've turned off that specific layer. So this is great for me, but I can do this in Photoshop because I'm the one who designed it. But let's say I wanted to send this to somebody like a project manager who's not going to have Photoshop installed, or even if they do, they're not going to really understand how to uh, look at the various different layers. So I can share this file now if I go to Actions and click Send Link. So you can see right now it's uh, locked to private, so only I can view this PSD. But if I click this toggle switch, we can see I've now made it public. So anybody who has the link to it can view it. I'm going to allow comments and then also allow download of the PSD. Now I can either send it directly to a specific email address or I can get a link to it. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to copy this link. So now I can actually take that link, send it in various emails. I can send it out on Twitter or, and whatever you want. So now to show you what that looks like when somebody shared something with you, I'm just going to sign out of my Creative Cloud account. And now I'm going to go to that URL, that share URL. And here you can see that same PSD. I have that same metadata information. Now you'll notice that you don't even have to have a Creative Cloud account in order to view this. So you can share it with anybody. And now if I go to the layers, let's say, um, I'm an art director or something. I've actually included a different version of the background. And this is something that's uh, a really powerful thing. So you can actually show them different revisions of certain layers. So if I toggle that on, you can see here is a uh, much more subtle background. And you can actually uh, get some feedback about which background uh, different people prefer. So now as somebody who has had this file shared with me. So I can come in and leave a comment. I can say, I prefer the rich background and add that comment. And then now me as a designer, I'm gonna be able to get that feedback. So again, this is a really powerful feature. Now, this is great here in the browser, but the same thing is gonna work even on mobile devices. So I'm gonna launch up my um, iPhone and show you what it looks like there. Okay, so here I am on my iPhone 5, and I've now gotten this email. And what I'm going to do is to launch that in the browser, and it's now going to load up that file, which I can see here. And if I scroll down, you can see that comment uh, that I left in the browser. And I can also come and turn on and off these layers, even on a mobile device. So we can see this is now loading, and there's that subtle background uh, version of the image. So again, all of this functionality is available uh, not just in the desktop browser, but also on your mobile devices. And this can be a really powerful way to, again, get feedback um, very quickly about your different designs.